Bob, you talk about cancer being an immune system disease. Can you touch on that a little bit more? Well, God has given us an immune system. When, it, when a baby is born, um, the first milk from the mother is colostrum. And, and through that colostrum, the immune system is transferred via transfer factors to the child. Mm -hmm. That's how that immune system really starts and is built. And it's, it's really sad that so many mothers aren't really nursing today because it becomes very difficult. Why do we have sick children today? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can probably trace a lot of it back to that. But the immune system was put within us and it grows within us. And if we keep it healthy, it's designed to knock out the common cold or prevent you from getting it. I've known many people who, who've largely not been sick their entire lives. I'm fortunately one of them. I've had very few sicknesses in my life. And I can probably look back at the times when I've, I've had a real bad cold and I haven't had one for about 25 years. I haven't been sick. And I can look back and say, oh yeah, that's the time that I, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, fell off the wagon or, or whatever it might be. But the reason is that these people, they exercise. They eat the right foods largely. That doesn't mean you have to eat vegetables every day. It means you have to maintain a sensible diet, one that is largely alkaline, I'd like to say that it doesn't matter what you do on Saturday, it matters what you do the rest of the week. So if you fall off, get back on. Um, it doesn't mean you can't have chocolate once in a while. As a matter of fact, there's some very good organic chocolate out there now that is, uh, only has a little bit of cane sugar in it. It's dark chocolate and it's good for you, but people don't know about it. They eat a Hershey bar instead, mm. which is full of sugar and it tastes great, but it's really not any good for you. So it matters what we put in our body to build our immune system. I say if you can't throw it in the dirt and watch it grow, don't eat it. Your food's supposed to spoil over time, right? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the guy that has the McDonald's Museum? I have, actually. <laughs> How come that food hasn't spoiled yet? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not food. Um, so the immune system has the power to knock out whatever you throw at it, by and large, as long as you keep it strong problem in America, again, is we acidify our bodies. We debilitate our immune system. We fill our body with bacteria, thrives and viruses and parasites. We all have parasites mm -hmm. unless you cleanse them regularly. And then we wonder why we get sick. Immune system works. It's the only thing that will heal you. There's no supplement. There's no drug. There's no doctor. There's no individual thing that will heal you of cancer or any, else, any other disease. It's that immune system, if strong, if strengthened when it's weak, will keep you healthy or it will heal you when you're not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been proven over centuries. Mm -hmm. That's what works. Do you find that all cancers fit under that immune system condition or Cancer, some different? People ask me that question a lot. You know, I've got glioblastoma, I've got pancreatic cancer, I've got colon cancer, I've got uh, cervical cancer, I've got breast cancer. Uh, what kind of breast cancer. You know, there's a hundred or a mm -hmm. thousand different labels for cancer. But you know what? Cancer is cancer. And you will treat it baseline the same way if you do the right things. And these are the things that I have talked about. The right diet, the right water, baseline again. Because you need, first of all, to stop that cancer from growing. And then you need to feed the good cells while you're doing that. And then you need to reverse the cancer. You can do that through diet and water and the correct supplements. And if it's too bad, you can go to a clinic and have massive intervention with things like DMSO and laetrile and, and vitamin C intravenously and other things, hyperthermia, coles toxins, infrared uh, blood irradiation, these things that really work uh, against cancer that's really aggressive.